heard it said a lot that uh, millennials just aren't doing a good job saving for the future. And a new report from Bankrate.com says when they do save, most are avoiding stocks. Local 12's Paula Toti says many under 30 may need some financial education and parents can help. Young people have time on their side, and they're the ones who should take the most financial risk with stocks. Yet a new report says roughly 75% of the people under 30 are not investing in stocks. While you need to be diversified with investments at all ages, most millennials need to get out of their comfort zone. Millennials will tell you they're the generation with the highest student loan debt in history and wages that on an inflation-adjusted basis are lower than previous generations. Valid reasons that make investing tough. Still, Miranda Stout puts money in stocks and feels for many her age, it goes beyond lack of money. I think it's just really a lack of education. They're, they're not aware of what's available to them. Experts agree. Financial planner David Niebneber of Foster Motley says young people have heard horror stories. You have Bernie Madoff in the news and the financial crisis of 08, 09. Um, I don't think people see it as simple as investing in good quality companies that are earning a profit and participating in those profits. He is seeing parents step in to help adult children start investing. The math is just too powerful. Invest $5,000 a year between ages 25 and 35 and then stop. At 7% growth, you have over a million dollars at 65. On the other hand, start late, say 35, invest 5,000 for a full 30 years at the same rate, you get just over 600,000 at retirement. Miranda was fortunate with her retirement plan because early on she had a job that offered help. It started as a, a co-op internship and uh, it moved to a full-time position and I began my 401k early on. But even if a job doesn't offer a 401k, if you have wages, you can set up your own IRA or Roth IRA. Even with very limited funds, you can find an online advisor. They really cater to folks with a small amount to invest, and they help create a disciplined process to continue to save. Parents might also set children up with their own advisors and get them to make monthly payroll deposits into retirement investments. I was lucky. Learning at a young age to pay herself first. David Neighbor says young people might consider target funds where the mix of investments are set to match age and years to retirement. A recent study shows that people who do just that rather than make a lot of moves in and out trying to time the market do better anyway with a whole lot less work. Paula Toti, Local 12 News. Problem is you're paying off that student loan. You're thinking right. about maybe getting married. You're having children. Right. It's really a tough thing to yeah, do. It is. It's a hard age.